Hello and welcome back to Jolly Entertainer Show. Well, if you like this, put a like. If you want to comment, comment. And if you want to subscribe for more content, please click subscribe. So, Chelsea are in, a, well, I wouldn't want to say a world of turmoil, but it feels like it is. Because, you know, Graham Potter just recently got sacked on Sunday and now we have an interim head coach or what I call an interim manager, Bruno Salta. The Spanish fullback from, um, well, used to play for Brighton a few years ago and then he joined Graham Potter's coaching staff at Brighton as a uh, development coach. So, we don't really know much about his managerial, well, ambitions or anything. We just had his press conference and he said about five minutes ago, he, he had a phone call from Graham Potter to say that, send his regards to all the press and everyone and all that. Um, I'm sure that Graham Potter will give him some advice and all that. But it's just one of those sort of things. Anyway, the my reaction to Graham Potter, you know, I think he is a great guy, you know, great family man and all that. I just wish he can be a little bit more ruthless and say to the players, I'm here. If you don't like me, then we've got to work our way and find a solution because we're going to find it either on the pitch or off the pitch sort of thing, you know. I mean, I'm not saying trying to be like Jose Mourinho or your Jurgen Klopp's or your Pep Guardiola's or, you know, those elite managers like Sedan or sort of thing. I just wish Graham Potter have a, would have uh, the, um, the gumption to say, I am here. If you don't like me, then I'm going to prove it to you. You prove it to you. If you prove it to me, we can win stuff. However, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. I thought it was four months too late. And we're now in this, we're in this situation where we're 10 games left to go until the end of the season. The Premier League is pretty much done. And... If we do win against Liverpool tomorrow, big game, biggest game, we could try and maybe reach for Europa Conference League or the Europa League. However, we have got the Champions League against Real Madrid, two legs, and it's a quarterfinal. If we do beat Real Madrid, absolutely amazing. We could go on to win the Champions League to qualify it in the hardest way by winning the final to, to qualify for next season. Because if we don't reach the Champions League, it will cost the club at least £100 million. And that is the situation where we are in. I just think all the sacking of Graham Potter, the new owners came in and it, I just felt like the new owners came in and trying to be like, I really want to, well, actually, I'm like a China in a bull shop and sort of going like, here, I'm here, but I want to change things, change, change, change. You know, it made me, it reminded me of my time at a um a company where you know the new owners came in after a period of administration and he well a, a person changed too many things at once and it didn't really work and however that's the business world that's what they do they're trying to be too ruthless showing balls and all that however we just got to accept it. So the new manager, we may 
we may not get a new manager until the end of the season or we may get a new manager in 48 hours time and what I'd like to see if the new owners wants to stick to this long-term approach and say we're doing this for five years or ten years wherever it is um, the new manager's got to be the right fit he's got to be you know ruthless however he's got to accept that young players are young and they need a little bit more experience and then improve and in building the team because when you go to the coffee shop i always want a latte you don't go for instant coffee like you know one of the particular brands you know because instant instant coffee is instant so we need to have this long-term approach and say we're doing this so uh i'll see you all for the next one we should beat liverpool and liverpool are in the same well, i wouldn't say in the same situation it's just that i think liverpool are sort of running out of ideas too i just think it has been poor from top six really um apart from arsenal so i just think we just need to you know uh, get our act together sort of thing so i'll see you all for the aftermath have a good tuesday evening